Yo, what's up, y'all? Um, damn, kind of lightheaded right now. Uh, just got done training. Well, I'm still training right now, but that's a long story. Uh, but yeah, so I got you know Olympic coaches and shit right now. Um, finally, after years of trying to get the resources and the money to do that shit. But anyway, uh, this video, uh, I'm gonna try to keep it short. We'll see. I'm really just trying to. I mean, um, every moment I'm training, even when I was uh, doing like actual professional meets and shit in 2020, um, there's always people like trying to down you, you know, specifically, and I'm not trying to say nothing bad about my gym just in case, you know, y'all find out where I stay at. I mean, not stay, but uh, practice at or whatever. I'm not trying to bring bad lights to the gym. It's nothing like that. Um, it's just a few people that got money, you know, up here. Uh, but like at the moment, you know, some of those people are white. But when I was training, I mean, when I was doing meets in uh, 2020 and I went to Marietta, Georgia, it was black people out there that had money and they were, um, you know, self-haters, you know, they they were colorists and just a lot of shit, you know, had a lot of uh, prejudices. I uh, hate that word, prejudices. Um, and just, um, man, just <laughs> like I said, man, self-hatred. But right now, uh, it's, it's white people, you know, uh, yeah, motherfuckers see me training and I'm faster than them even if I wasn't faster than them you know uh, they gonna down me or whatever you know but the whole point of this video is basically to say that the reason I do this you know uh, the biggest reason is because obviously I want to be the fastest man in the world one day you know um, yeah I'm trying to, I'm putting in a lot of hard work and I got another four years to the next Olympics to get you know keep keep at this shit or whatever and get my uh, attempts and chance to get that title but um, really, I do it because, and again, I'm trying to keep this short, but yeah, I do it because I come from nothing, bro. <laughs> like, I can't even put that into words at the moment, but I'm just saying I come from nothing. Uh, I come from a lot of self-hatred and self-destruction. Uh, black people, you know, we the lowest race on the planet, you know, and even though we're the lowest race or whatever, and we've been, and multiple races have, had, have uh, had us as slaves and even presently have us as slaves, we are slaves, you know, to our own minds, you know, and we down each other and shit. And then for me to, you know, get up on a professional platform and try to, you know, better my race and culture is just, it's hard, man. It's so hard because we don't care about ourselves. And at one point in my life, I didn't care about myself either, you know. But anyway, uh, like I said, man, I do it because there's people just like me, black people, white people, Mexicans, Chinese, whatever the fuck, man. Um, and I know y'all having it hard too because black people might be the number one race for self hatred, but it's other races that hate that hate themselves also and hate each other. You know, um, I do it for y'all. You know, um, I do it for the kids that they're in poverty literally, and they teachers or whatever won't let them do sports because their grades are bad, and their grades are bad not because they're stupid or whatever, but because they don't have the guidance or uh, perspective mentally to understand why they need to do good at school because that's how I was. I do it for. Uh, the adults or whatever that you know just like me didn't have good grades or whatever didn't have that guidance just like i spoke about and never understood how to make it you know off this uh this athletic shit or uh being an artist or whatever you know whatever you're good at i'm doing it so that i can build facilities or whatever in indianapolis or anywhere else you know where that, that's needed uh where people don't have the guidance the money or whatever or just resources period to uh, do what they want to do i want to uh, help uh, get programs out here to make it easier for artists, you know, uh, whatever type of art, you know, singing, painting, whatever, uh, you know, uh, the athletes or uh, whatever sport, man, I want to make it to where y'all can easily excel, you know, without having to go through these governmental institutions and shit, man, you know, without having to take the hard way to do everything, whatever, you know, hard route. Um, I don't, I, uh, man, I can't breathe right now, I, I was just sprinting, but uh, I don't know if I got mixed up in, me, in my words saying all that because, you know, I got ADHD, but, um, like I said, man, you know, I, I really do care, bro, like, I face adversity all the time, bro, I might not be dealing with hood shit no more, I still live in the hood, but I really am not worried about people shooting at me and shit no more, mostly right now, I worry about, you know, motherfuckers, you know, disrespecting me, calling me a nigger and a monkey and shit under their fucking breath or whatever, and again, that's not just white people, Mexicans do it too, every, every fucking race does not give a fuck about us, we are the bottom race, we've been the bottom fucking race for centuries like literally you yeah. know look that shit up we were it wasn't just white people that had us as slaves man but anyway uh i'm just saying like yeah i face adversity 
every fucking minute I breathe, you know, just because I'm trying to make it out the hood. And I guarantee that even when I get millions of dollars, whatever, and I'm sponsored by Nike or Adidas, whatever, people are still going to be calling me a nigger or a monkey or whatever. It's just people say that the races and other people, uh, they, they say that the races do that shit because we uh, we down ourselves you know, and look how we act on the Internet. But that's that's wrong because like centuries ago. We wasn't doing shit like that. Women were waking up wearing dresses, shit. We weren't confused, talking about, you know, you know, they studs and shit, you know. Dudes weren't at that feminine. We was exactly what we were supposed to be. Black men were masculine. Black women were strong and feminine, you know. We weren't disrespecting ourselves, but and they were still doing that to us. So I don't want to hear none of that shit. That's just an excuse, you know. But they don't give a fuck about us out here, man, for real. So I'm doing it, you know, like I said, I'm doing it for y'all, man, because I know that I'm not the only person that's getting down right now. I got to go back in here, and it's a little white girl that's got to be, like, fucking 15 or whatever, just straight on some racist shit against me. Like, I don't even know her. I'm way older than her. Like, what? You know, but I'm waiting for uh, a substitute coach to come in, and I don't even know where she's coming. I'm about to leave, so. Uh, uh, but anyway, love y'all, man. Uh, I'm going to try to upload this video while I'm at the gym. By the time it uploads, though, uh, I probably won't even be at the gym no more. But anyway, again, love y'all, and, and I'm going to try to do more, you know, videos about shit that has nothing to do with my relationships but anyway all right y'all